The earthquake tsunami catastrophe in Japan has brought a new focus into the need for insurance coverage that covers the financial impact of events outside of a business's control. Perhaps the best example of what can happen when those disastrous events happen is the effect on numerous manufacturing businesses around the globe. When the aftermath of the quake resulted in the closure of many Japanese firms which supplied parts or even the total finished products to other businesses. There are two vital questions each business owner should be asking. How much of our business relies on other entities outside of our control? And how disruptive to our firm would it be to have an even short-term cessation of supplies or products from those other organizations? One answer to the problem is called Contingent Business Interruption Insurance, or CBI. It is also often called Contingent Business Income Insurance. What is it? Contingent Business Interruption Insurance and Contingent Extra Expense Coverage is an extension to other insurance coverage, their standard property insurance. It reimburses lost profits and extra expenses resulting from an interruption of business at the premises of a customer or supplier. That property may be named specifically or the coverage may blanket all customers and suppliers. There are four situations in which this coverage is widely used. When an insured depends on a single supplier or a few suppliers for materials. When the insured depends on one or a few manufacturers or suppliers for most of its merchandise. When the insured depends on one or a few recipient businesses to purchase the bulk of the insurer's products. And when the insured counts on a neighboring business, known as a leader property, to help attract customers. CBI insurance can reimburse the policyholder in each of these situations, covering the interruption in the insured's business caused by a peril specified in the policy, causing physical damage or loss elsewhere. However, CBI coverage does not protect against the interruption of the same insured company's business from damage to its own plants or third-party plants. It is not necessary that the customer or supplier property be totally shut down to cause a contingent business interruption loss to an insured. All that is necessary is that an insured loss occurs at the type of location covered under the policy, and that the insured's business be interrupted as a result. For example, the manufacturing of a supply of embedded microchips for an insured might be particularly interrupted by a fire at the supplier's plant. The insured may be compelled to suspend production because it can't obtain the chips. Alternatively, it may be put on an allocation of product. In such a case, the insured will have suffered a contingent business interruption loss, even though the supplier has not been shut down. Another scenario would be when a fire may close the chip plant completely, but the insured has either ample supply or an alternative supplier and may not be affected or only slightly impacted. In this situation, there may be no contingent business interruption loss unless the insured cannot find another supplier or has to pay a premium to the new supplier. This scenario could lead into contingent extra expense, or CBI, in an attempt to avert a business interruption loss. The disaster in Japan has opened our eyes to the possible need for CBI. We'll be happy to discuss it with you at any time. Thanks to Insurance Risk Management Institute,